When I joined the Eagles, and it might be yesterday, I kissed a girl at Moody Lum before I marched away. A long march, a long march, twenty years in four. When I left my girl in Moody Lum behind the dressing floor. It all seemed very peaceful, Drusillus. Coming back to the fort, I saw children playing, cook smoke rising from the thatch. Here and there, someone called out an evening greeting to me. But I had an uneasy feeling that underneath the peace, something is stirring. That old war spear, its collar had been lately renewed. I wouldn't worry over much, sir. In all probability, that old war spear has been refurbished many times, kept right by a son in memory of his father. I can't help wondering in how many of those homesteads down there an old war spear has been put into fighting trim. All this because of a few feathers. A feather might show which way the wind blows. You know, so sitting on a frontier, you can start to imagine things just to relieve the boredom. I wish I could be sure that's all it is. But when Craddock complimented me on the handling of his team, there was a strange note of regret in his voice. And when I spoke to his wife about next winter's hunting, she replied with her eyes as though there would be none. I'll double the guard. Sir, mm -hmm. sir. What is this? The sentry on the south rampart reports sounds of movement between us and the turn, sir. You've been up yourself? I have, sir. There's nothing to be seen. But there is something stirring down there for all that. Nothing to be seen. Not even a star on a night like this. You hear anything, sir? Only the whisper of blood in my ears. I heard something there. An owl hunting. No, before that. Someone will be spending a busy day looking for his strayed cattle. All the same, a breakout of cattle could make good cover for something else. You're still thinking of new feathers on an old spear. This is my first command. If I'm being a fool, that must excuse me. I'll turn out the cohort to action stations. As quietly as may be. sign of movement? No. Am I being every kind of a fool? Am I going to be laughed at so long as my name is remembered in the Legion as the man who doubled the guard because of a bunch of feathers and then turned out his cohort to repel a herd of milk cows? I think I must have gone mad. I shall never live this down. Yeah, better to be a laughing stock than lose the fall for fear of being one. It doesn't pay to take chances on the frontier. And there is a new moon.
That second attack's cost us dear, sir. I know, Sergeant. How dear? We've lost upwards of four score men killed and wounded. Sir, they fired the Dexter Gate, but the damage isn't too bad. How long can we hold out? Several days. With luck. Reinforcements could get to us in three. Maybe two from Durin. But there's been no reply to our signal. A little wonder in that, sir. To destroy the nearest signal station is an obvious precaution. And no Cressy could carry the double distance in this murk. I look for a scrub that it clears long enough to give the smoke column a chance to rise. Drusillus, I'm worried about the patrol we have out. They're due back before noon. If the tribesmen haven't dealt with them already, in which case they're beyond our help. Or need of it. I think it's more likely that they'll leave them to walk into a trap and cut them to pieces beneath our walls. I've ordered a watch to be kept for them, and they might see the cresset burning and be warned that there's something wrong. They'll never see a smoke column through this. Then if they win back, we shall, of course, make a sortie and bring them in. Yes, sir. I wish you bread and raisins. You should have breakfast yourself. Thanks. Too much to do. Be ready to start your smother the moment the sky clears. Great God, Mithras, slayer of the bull, lord of the ages, hear the prayer of thy son who bears thy mark. Let the mists part and thy glory shine through. Draw back the mists and grant us clear air for a space that we go not down into darkness. O God of the legions, hear the cry of thy sons. Send down thy light upon us, even upon us, thy sons of the fourth Gaulish cohort of the second legion. Thank you.